Welcome to St. John's Episcopal Church as we observe the Compline service for the week of June 20th. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head, that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were there with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat upon the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. They woke him up and said to him, Teacher, you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Thanks be to God. I think sometimes we read this story and we're left wondering if we were in the boat, if we were in the windstorm, would we want God to deliver us from the moment, from the danger? Or would we be content to trust that he was with us and would see us to the end, through the windstorm and through the danger? When the disciples ask, who then is this? They are asking the question, is this the one who is going to be with us through the windstorms and the dangers? Or will he simply deliver us? The answer, it seems, is that God will live with us as he wants us to live in the world. But he won't leave us alone or lonely. He will be there with us. Into your hands, O Lord, 
I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. O Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name. For you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and always. Amen. Amen.